One of the most pressing and urgent issues for the Dalai Lama today has been to preserve his culture in exile before it's lost forever. Music, architecture, art, and dance, which has been destroyed or rigidly suppressed by the Chinese, is celebrated by the Dalai Lama and within the Tibetan community. And yet, in many regions, the world was shrinking and cultural identity was dying. I asked the Dalai Lama how important it was to preserve one's cultural heritage. So I've seen native cultures like Tibet and, mm. and many others, and it seems today that the television, the internet, the telecommunications revolution has penetrated everywhere. Mm. And to what extent should cultures be preserving their traditions, their way of life, and so on, and their religious practices? And to what extent should they reach out and embrace the outside world? <clears throat> That's, a, a, I mean, very, very important question. Uh, I think, uh, I believe, uh, certainly in our tradition, in our cultural heritage, certainly some are uh, very, I say, very useful and really worthwhile to keep in modern time. some cultural heritage, some tradition, reality out of date, should go. So you see, in Tibetan culture, the, uh, some kind of, I think, the uh, uh, thinking or habit uh, on the basis of caste, or higher caste or low caste, are just out of date. And then the uh, women, as the, what call, the right of uh, right of we, what call widow, uh, isn't it? The husband passed, then the widow uh, can't sort of re, re, remarry or these things. This this practice out of date. There are some other tradition worthwhile to keep. Uh, generally, in the East, the close relation in the family and the father, children, and then I think India, the uh, respect different as a form of life. How to deal with environment? How to deal with animals? And then religious harmony, religious tolerance. These are really, I think, as a like I think, a good example to the world, to community, to human, to to, to humanity. <laughs> 